The Invictus Games has shown us what can be achieved when wounded, injured and sick. Servicemen and women rediscover their fighting spirit through sport. In London and again Orlando, we came away moved by the tales of courage that got each competitor through their rehabilitation to the start line of their chosen sport. Tens of thousands of people packed stadiums and millions more watched at home. We were all inspired. We've raised the bar high with each successive games. And I know that Toronto are planning an incredible event when they host the games in September. And I'm happy to say the Invictus Games journey won't end there. But where should the games go next? Well, we had three criteria. First, it had to be an iconic city, somewhere known the world over. Second, it needed to be a city with a proud military heritage, which would welcome competitors from all over the world with open arms. And finally, we wanted to go somewhere where they are absolutely sports mad and would really get behind our competitors. It was an easy decision, really. The 2018 Invictus Games are coming to Sydney. Yeah! If it's Sydney, mate, you're going to need one of these. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Good decision. Good decision. Oh, that's awkward. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Oh, it's Kylie. Hey. Hey. Hi, Kylie. Good timing. The 2018 Invictus Games are coming to Sydney. Can I guarantee the Aussies are going to bring it? Hey, Prince Harry. Listen, we're stoked the Invictus Games are coming to Sydney, but you don't need to tell the Aussies to bring it. It's guaranteed. No worries. Sydney, it's on. Press the button, guys. <laughs> 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 <laughs>